有点特别，有点不一样。巨星驾到，在过往我们都是请来一位大家非常熟知的巨星嘉宾，但今天呢，我们一请就请到了两位。我们前段时间有很多人看到了网上热播的一个由乔白喜力微电影，这个名字叫《你不相信的是有的人却从来没有放弃》。而今天我们也请到了这部微电影的主角，他是谁？我相信大家非常非常的熟悉。我们都知道，他是。认真的人，永远是值得人们尊重的人。在我们中国足球界，有这么一位代表，他是被称之为中国足球教父，七十多岁高龄，从事一辈子的足球，却从来没有在世界杯的现场，在之前看过一场比赛，而且他的身体也并不是非常的好，他培养了无数的中国的国脚。人们只要现在一看到中国国家队的许多的球员，马上就会想到他。他就是让我们非常非常尊敬的徐根宝，徐教练。我们非常有幸能够把他请到我们今天节目的现场。但是我们还有一位嘉宾，他是谁呢？我们请刘畅给我们介绍。谢谢苏老师。今天呢，和徐根宝指导一起来到巨星驾到做客的，还有一位特别的嘉宾。接下来呢，我要为大家介绍一下他。首先，我要说一句歌词，非常的唯美。让青春吹动了你的长发，让它牵引你的梦。一首歌，一个人，一段追梦的故事。九八年世界杯，他在阿根廷四名后卫围追堵截的情况下，一路杀进禁区，将球打入。从此呢，一位少年英雄一战成名。那时他才十八岁。从此呢，他追风少年的美誉名扬天下。说到这里，大家应该都知道我要说到的这个令人难以忘怀的名字，他就是。迈克尔·欧文，接下来让我们用热烈的掌声邀请本期巨星驾到的来宾——中国足球教父徐根宝指导和他的弟子，以及英格兰传奇球星金童迈克尔·欧文，有请。不知道我们未来的中国足球的国家队里边这几位，谁会成为我们中国足球未来的希望？来，观众们，我们先给这些孩子们鼓掌。咱们五位小球员能够来到现场，咱们先请他们做一个简单的自我介绍吧。来，嗯，大家好，我叫张辉宇，今年十五岁，来自上海崇明根宝基地。嗯，我也要十八岁的时候像欧文一样厉害。哇。<笑>大家好，我叫廖崇九，今年十六岁，我来了根宝基地已经三年多了，希望像姆巴佩一样十九岁就能为国争光。哦，是像是像姆巴佩一样了不起。好，下一位欢迎你。大家好，我叫王建聪，今年十三岁，踢球有六年了，以后也希望像 C 罗一样，一个<笑>像 C 罗一样成功是吗？<笑>大家好，我叫孟建朝，今年十四岁。嗯，我踢球已经八年了。大家好，我叫李德明，今年十五岁，今年很高兴能和欧文在一起参加这个节目。好的，欢迎你们，欢迎我们五位小球员来到我们现场。此次壳牌喜力赞助小球员来到了世界杯的前方，近距离接触顶级赛事，相信对小球员来说这是难忘的经历。我插一句，您这个眼睛是受伤了还是？受伤踢球踢的吧，就出发前一天，他们已经参加我们上海市的那个一个成衣杯的比赛啊，呃，受伤了，缝了三针啊两针啊。嗯、原本说要缝两针，然后后面因为怕留疤，然后用胶水粘了一下。那么其实我也有问题想问问徐指导，徐导据说是看了一场比赛是吗？您看的是哪场比赛？这是您第一次看世界杯吗？我第一次看世界杯，到现场看哈，哎、啊，到现场看世界杯。过去电视里面看世界杯，看到过欧文、哦、啊。<笑>我们印象当中，我跟我们当时的像范子怡啊、郝海东，嗯，呃，等一些国内的一些优秀球员，我说欧文十八岁都踢国家队，对吧、嗯？啊，你们应该像他们这样年轻的啊，进入国家队。我第一次到世界杯，嗯、我第一次见到欧文，好像有点缘分啊、哦，很有缘分、啊。因为欧文到过我们基地，他跟我们在座的这些球员，哎，真是有缘分
，当时有卡卡，呃，那么选了我们里面四个小球员跟他们互动。所以已经第二次见面了，嗯，非常有缘分。They were only this big. <笑> <Yeah. 笑>当时你们还这么小，<笑>现在都已经这么高了。<笑>非常熟悉。<笑>那么我们知道，其实徐指导为中国足球做出了很多的贡献，培养出了很多优秀的球员。嗯、那么我们在这里也想问一下徐指导，对中国足球的未来有一些什么样的希望和寄语呢？希望总是有的，对啊，尤其我们，呃，中国现在大力发展足球运动，非常重视青青训和校园足球。那么就要在众多解决那个就是踢球人数过去太少了嘛啊，在这样普及下面能够出一些超过像我们现在的像吴磊啊，过去的范子毅啊、郝海东这些优秀球员，如果超过他们的话，那么我们希望就来了。那么希望在哪呢？就在现在校园足球跟青训当中，啊，能够出来啊。其实要说呢，呃，徐根宝教练确确实实是我们足球界啊青训的教父。为什么这么说呢？七十四岁的高龄，作为一个老资格的足球的从业者，我们想想看，第一次到世界杯的现场来看比赛，这、嗯、在我们想象中可能似乎都不可能。但是呢，一直兢兢业业、勤勤恳恳、扎根于最基层的。足球孩子们的训练和提高，我们把掌声送给徐指导，谢谢，感谢您对中国足球做出的一切。好，我们请徐指导和弟子在呃台稍稍休息休息。好，有请，谢谢。好的，那我们接下来也是请欧文先生落座，开始我们的访谈。好 ，Michael please take seat。啊。Welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you. you to the show. Uh, just like you said, uh, so uh, you're famous when you're only 18. So uh, people called you Wonder Kid. Uh, <laughs> in in China, we call uh, Wind Chasing yes. Kid, and there are a lot of uh, your nicknames. Uh, so, who do you think is better and faster, Mike Owen or Mbappe? <laughs> Ha.、Uh, um, he's a little bit he's older. A, he's a、uh, 19, right? He's 19. Yeah, he's 19.、Yeah. You're 18. Yeah. There's a lot of similarities. And when、yeah. he scored two goals、um, last week, and the run he made before, and he won the penalty, was very similar to yeah to yeah. Me. So I understand comparisons. We're both very young、um, in the World Cup. And. He's an outstanding player. He was an outstanding player before he came to the World Cup. He scores lots of goals、right. um, for Paris Saint Germain now. He's very fast. He's very direct. He's very similar to what I was. Yeah, I'm not saying who's better. <laughs> <laughs> But people want you to say. But anyway,、uh, at that time when Mbappe scored goal, many people compared、uh, you and Mbappe and、yeah. say, "Okay, this is another Mike Owen." Uh, do you think he has got a better future、uh, in the coming two or three years? It's diff- very difficult to say. I mean, my future for the three three years after was was very good. My、uh-huh. career started to slow down maybe when I was twenty eight, twenty nine. That because of injury, right? More difficult.、Yeah. But three years after I scored in the World Cup, I won the Ballon d'Or,、right. voted、right. the best football player in the world at that、yeah. time. So my career. Went high very very fast. So, so, sorry, then,、uh, when you win the Ballon d'Or,、uh, Gerard is、uh, still in the reserve team, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get on. Yeah. <laughs> um, I see Mbappe is the, the game changes, football changes. Mbappe looks to me like the perfect shape. Yeah. Perfect as for a football player now, big, strong, fast, direct, and the game changes. You know, we have seen Messi for the last ten、mm-hmm. years. Very small,、uh, great passer, great balance, but different players, different shapes, different sizes. It's impossible for me to play like certain players. Yeah, yeah,、sure. I have to do the best with small, fast. I have、mm-hmm. to do the best with my frame, my、Exploding. body. Exploding. And Mbappe、yeah. has a better <laughs> shape than I did.、Mm-hmm. I was very fast, and I had a very strong mentality.、Yeah. Mbappe is very fast, very skillful, 
and in years to come we will see if he's got a good mentality to last a long career. Right, right. Yeah, actually you make a very important point, the mentality. We'll play the key role. Yeah. It's everything. We, some people are very lucky, they get given a body. They, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. our, our parents give yeah, us a body yeah. that is very strong or very fast or very tall. Or very, mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. After what, what they give you, then after that is all mentality. Yeah, God is always impartial. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, let's talk about the penalty shootout. Yeah, yeah. we won. Yeah, that, that's why I want to ask you. Uh, it is a sad, Gary Southgate, Mm, make, make some uh, psychoanalysis before this World Cup, starting from March, uh, to ask the the players to try to train and practice the shootout. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. This is the first time ever in World Cup for England to win the shootout. So everybody is happy. I mean, back in England or either England team's fan. So why is that? Uh, what's the real reason? The strong mentality, or they are more experienced. But yeah, uh, I remind you, this is the youngest ever for England national team in the World Cup. Yeah, it's a young team. I think the benefit being young is they have no experience of losing a World Cup on penalties. They're all they have no they have no disappointments in their lives so far. Uh -huh. So if I go to a World Cup now, I remember how we lost on penalties. Now we're yeah, about to yeah. take a penalty. We're scarred, you know. We have a a lot of players right. that have lost have a problem. These are young players that have never been beaten in a world in a. But they were penalty. told. They they maybe watch, but they're different. <clears throat> they're different players. Penalty shootouts. I don't think you could. It's fair to say England uh, very good or England very bad. It's only one player or two players that miss a penalty. You're you know, Liverpool. Some players don't. <laughs> some players never. Some players that play for England right. never miss a penalty in a World Cup. Mm -hmm. I never missed a penalty in a oh, World yeah, Cup. Oh yeah, yeah. So does that mean because I'm English? I, I, I I'm... saw there was in league. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't. It's just individ Everybody's individual, and some people get very nervous. Mm -hmm, some people mm -hmm. are just not good penalty takers. Yeah, that's true. We have to have five. Normally in a game, there's only one. Mm -hmm. So it's been a problem for many years, but now we win. Now we're very happy, and I do believe that it's important to practice penalties. After 28 years, England national team got to the final four. So, do you think there is uh, any special reason, any special factors for this team? When a lot of the time when I played, we didn't feel as like we had we were together as a country. A lot of people, right? You know, we put, put pressure on us. <clears> and, <throat> but now I think everybody is very supportive of our team. It's a nice team as well. The players that are playing. Are, are very popular. They're, they're, they look like nice people. They look like they're very friendly with each right, other. Right, right. And United. I think now we like uh -huh. we, we warm to their to yeah, the, yeah to, to them. Do you really think England, uh, this team, uh, play as well as people's expectation? I think they're playing better than we had expected. Yeah. Uh huh. And frankly, uh, let me ask you this way. Did you think they could not make it from the group? Oh no, I expected us to win the group. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Then last of 16? Well, when we, in our group, we had Belgium, who were a strong team. But the other mm -hmm. two teams, we should beat, we should yeah. win. And we did. Then the next group was Colombia, Japan, Senegal, Poland. Yeah. We should, we should, you know, they're not world-class teams. Right, They're good right. teams, but... So you expect, okay, quarterfinals, England should get to the quarterfinals. Anything more, and we're very, a very happy. It's a bonus. And anything worse, then <laughs> it will be very bad. So I think quarterfinals was par, was normal yeah, for us. Yeah, that's true. Now, they're heroes. If they lose in the semi-finals, they're, still, they're heroes. still heroes, I think. Yeah. yeah. That's why uh, people back in England, they're crazy. So many people just apply for visa within 24 hours. They're just uh, vlogging to Russia yeah. Yeah, to cheer up for, for the team. Yeah, uh, speaking of uh, your top of the form, uh, you were suffering a lot of uh, injuries uh, during your late career. So during that time, uh, how do you think of it? I mean, I still remember in Euro, uh, 
uh, you got injured uh, by the touchline. It yeah. was just uh, very sadly, uh, very sadly. I remember you, you cried because uh, I remember many many fans cried then. <laughs> so uh, my idol uh, probably could not make it. Yeah, uh, from then on, uh, your career is going down. So how could you um, cope with that? It's very difficult when you. It's the mentality. It's my mentality was to be the best. Mm -hmm. And when you're not the best, when you when you feel as if you can be, but your body can't do it, it's this is saying yes, and this is saying no. Mm -hmm. And the frustration then, knowing that you you was and you can be, but you're not anymore. For the, mm -hmm. it makes you it makes you want to stop playing football really. Right. When I was 28, 29, I could I was looking at my watch thinking I can't wait to retire because I was no longer the best and my brain needs to be the best. It has to right, be the best. Right. Right. But you, I wasn't. You, you have to push yourself to be the best. Uh, but that I will couldn't hurt do you. it. I could my, I physically couldn't do it right. anymore. Right. Right. In 98, I could sprint over there, I could sprint, I could mm -hmm. take people on, I could score all the time. I couldn't even sprint. When I was 29, I couldn't, I was looking there and thinking, I can't run, I can't run that fast. I have to have the ball to my feet. Don't pass it over there, because if I run, I might break again. And that is a very hard thing when your brain is telling you one thing and you're thinking, no, 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 my body won't, my body won't allow me to do that anymore. They're really sad. Yeah. yeah, but it was still good. I was still playing for Manchester United in the Champions League. Yeah, you yeah. know, I was still playing at the top level. But inside me, you I still, knew I was still yeah. better. But you I could still anyway. score that key goal. Yeah, I can still score. <laughs> I could still score because my mind knew where the ball was, uh -huh. where it was going to drop. I could still score. Goal. I was still a very good finisher. Yeah, but I didn't have. Physical, I couldn't run that yeah. fast into yeah. these different places. I just had to stay around the goal and wait. Mm -hmm. And that wasn't me. I, my, my game was running everywhere. And that's why I couldn't do it. For the last few years, it started getting more difficult. Yeah. Uh, our hostess, Liu, uh, went to yeah. Liverpool and lived in Liverpool. And, uh, worked there for a couple of uh, weeks. Uh, got any, any impression about Liverpool, about this city? Yeah. And Michael? You mentioned about the pressure that in your generation of your national team, we know that you, you used to have so many top players, so you have pressure. But about the recent England team, do you know in Chinese social media, we call that happy style football? Because they are so young and powerful, they don't have pressure yeah. and they have a very good atmosphere. Um, do you think it, it might be a good way for this team maybe to create a higher press or score? I do. I think when you're very young, you don't, you don't feel you pressure. Don't, yeah. No, you just play and you smile. And you, like I was in 1998, yeah. I don't care. This is a game of football and I'll get the ball and I'll score a goal. And it was normal and happy. And mm -hmm. later on in your life, you, you think, ah, maybe not he's strong and I might play this side and, and you start thinking too much. So you're, you're dead right. I think when you have young players, you have much more energy, much more, less fear. Um, you're much happier, no pressure. So I think this team are very good. That is a, one of the strengths of this team. How about Sterling? Yeah. Raheem Sterling, he actually missed a couple of chances. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I remember uh, two or three days I read an article. George Hurst said he's uh, he's very good. Yeah, he missed uh, some uh, some chances, but he yeah. still had the chances. Yeah, his job is not. He's never been very good at scoring goals. He scored goals in his yeah, time, yeah. but he's not naturally a goal a killer. scorer. Yeah, he's not a natural killer. Mm -hmm. He's very fast. He right. creates problems for the opposition uh -huh. and other other players in our team like him because he pulls defenders <laughs> everywhere and yeah. then you have more space right so sterling he will score goals it's his job to score a few goals but it's not his biggest strength mm. never has mm. been so he's been 
he's missed some chance. The problem is, if, if somebody misses a chance, people think, ah, he's playing badly. But he's not. He's running around everywhere. He's a lot of energy. He's one of our young players that's, um, that's helping the team at the moment. He's a very good player. And I uh, think he can play even better. He had a fantastic season in the Premier League last year. We are very proud. Uh, not because of uh, our national team. Our national team is not here yet. Yet. But we have some players One, one here. day, definitely. Uh, one day, okay. I hope we can live to say it. Uh, but we have some players here. Let's see some pictures yeah. from the big screen. Visso, Augusto, uh, King Jung Quinn, uh, Maschiano, Mikel. Uh, who do you think is the uh, best performer so far? Well, I think Mascherano, Argentina, probably got the furthest. Um, I know him from my Liverpool days. Yeah, I know. Days. I know. A very good player. Mm -hmm. I think Mascherano probably... Argentina, they expected to go even further, but they still got into the knockout stages. So I think Mascherano is the, uh, did the best, maybe. Uh, speaking of uh, Mascherano, I think, what's the difference uh, between he was in Liverpool and in Barcelona? Yeah. Only the position or something else? Yeah, the position was amazing. It changed. Yeah. I'm taller than Mascherano. He's yeah, only this that's one. true. And he plays centre true. half, <laughs> centre defender. Uh -huh. That's <laughs> impossible. <laughs> you know, only Guardiola can think this uh, amazing uh -huh. because he did very well. Yeah. And in Spain, it's a bit different. Football is different to most people. They don't really cross the ball too much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They, in England, you get you cross, have lots of crosses, and you need to be good with your head. Right. In Spain, they're more tick attack as you say, mm -hmm. yep. or pass the ball. So height is not so important, which is probably why he did well being a defender. The, the different uh, football philosophy yeah. in Spain and uh, England. And he needs to have a good football brain to yeah. play in two different positions that are very different. Right. He's, uh, he's obviously a very clever football player. Mm -hmm. In China, uh, just like I told you, uh, you, you've got a reputation like when chasing kid, teenager. Some teenagers now in China mm, are troubled with uh, their, their size. You are not very tall, but you're very fast. So do you have any advice to all those kind of kids who uh, idolize you uh, to follow, follow your step to be, uh, first of all, of course, faster and can score some goals? I think the problem with, with not just Chinese kids, but, but people all around the world is they think they have to be perfect in every way, mm -hmm. but you don't. You have to have one, maybe two, but you have to have, be exceptional at one thing. In my case, I was very fast, and I think I was very strong yeah. in my mind. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Messi, he's only very small, right. very skillful. You know, you don't all have to be the perfect footballer like Ronaldo. Tall, <laughs> muscly, fast, yeah, right. good with both feet, good in the air. Most players are very, very good at one thing or maybe two things. Yeah. The rest of it is okay. Make full use of it. Yeah, you have to, you get given something. Uh -huh, if you're uh -huh. very small, okay, great. You have to have great balance. You have right, to have great right. movement. You're, it's an advantage to be small against the big players. Uh -huh. You can turn faster. You can get into your speed faster. Yeah. So if you're tall, then use that as an advantage. We all, have, we all get given. We can't change what we have. We have to do the best with what we have. Yeah. And that's, my body isn't, as I said before, wasn't perfect for lots of things, but I made it, I made it a very perfect thing mm -hmm. by using True. what I was good at. True. And everybody has to do the same. How many times have you been to China? Oh, I remember just a couple of uh, weeks ago, you were, in, you were in China. Yeah, a couple of days ago. A couple of days <laughs> I've ago, I've just right? been to Shanghai and Beijing the last two days. Uh -huh. um, oh, and Chengdu. Chengdu or Chongqing? Chengdu, and then two weeks ago I was in Chengdu as well. Uh -huh. I spend hot, it's my second home, China. Yeah, that's I've been why I wanted to ask you, do, do you have any, any house, apartment in, in any city of China? I haven't because I go to so many different cities all the time. Uh -huh. um, but my passport is just full of Chinese visa, <laughs> Chinese. Every page I have 
I have to get another new passport now. I've yeah. already had two. <laughs> Just because Chinese now, this is perfect now because we have a visa that lasts for two years. Yeah, yeah. So now I'm very happy because I was going to get visas every single week mm -hmm. to come to China. But So I, yeah, I've maybe been to China 50, 60 times. Uh, what was your impression? I love it. I, I love the people because Liverpool, Manchester United, Real Madrid, England, teams that I played for are very ah. popular in China. Yeah. So right. I have a lot of fans in China. Right. And the food is great. I enjoy, enjoy that kind of life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But the people are, are great. Uh, they're very pleased to see, yeah. to see me. They're wow, very polite. Um, I like the food. I like visiting so many different you, you like places. The food? Yeah, definitely, yeah. In different, I like the way Spicy it's different. Or... In, yeah, in Chengdu is very spicy. <laughs> <laughs> very spicy last mm -hmm. week. But I like, uh, it's, a, it's very different depending on what part of the country you go right, to. Right, it's too big. It's, it's too very big, big yeah. yeah. Yeah, very big. And and that's good in a way. China has to make, make use of being so big in their football team now. And we right, right. need to uh, improve the football team in the future. 好，我们下面进入到国米三分钟环节。本栏目由国美分卖 Note 声纹识别手机独家冠名播出。And we talk a bit about, you know, the the manager of Germany who is very, um, you know, he's been there for a long time. He's one of the longest serving national team coaches, which is an, an impressive achievement. Is he, does he do something special dealing with all these young players and with all these people? Like, is there a special quality he has in understanding the, the young footballers that you guys all are? I mean, if you have so many world-class players. Um, as a coach, I think it's not always easy to treat all the same. Maybe it's not always possible, but um, I mean, we are successful during the last 14 years, I would say, or even more. And uh, with him, I think, I, I don't know if he's 12 years now, he's uh, coach of the, of the national team. And I mean, we always, got to to the semi-finals at least which means uh, he knows how to treat the team how to treat every single person that he's comfortable with his situation everybody knows about his situation and i think this is this is key for for all of us and um, he's a very natural person um, and and of course he has a lot of influence and how do you stay motivated at this uh, top level is there anything is there, are there any secrets or any special things that you think you do? Me, for yeah. for example, yeah. More personal I mean, level. Um, I'm always I'm always trying to, to to be focused. It doesn't matter against who we are playing um, because as a goalkeeper, it's a bit different. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, you can't relax. Maybe one one mistake would mean that it's a goal and or a possible goal. And um, this is why you always need to be concentrated. Um, I think this is the, the biggest fact or the biggest um, thing when you want to be a good goalkeeper and this makes the difference on, on the highest level. Uh, if you have a good goalkeeper who, who can manage these situations, I think you, yeah, you, you have a good chance always to, to win these matches. Doesn't mean that the goalkeeper is the most important one, but uh, he, can, he can make uh, the difference, of course. Sometimes you've been seen, you know, on replay, like you kind of shout or talk to the player. Maybe it's a bit more shouting than talking to, to them. Is this, a, this is all, is this a personal habit of yours or is, or is it more just a reaction in the moment of frustration than anything else? No, sometimes it, it depends on the situation, but sometimes with the reaction, you can get the teammates, you know, and this sometimes is important. Um, it's not always about this. I mean, when you concede and somebody wasn't really awake, I mean, of course, you, because you're the one who is conceding the goal, and um, yeah, sometimes it's not just about shouting because somebody did a mistake. Sometimes it's, a, it's a, of course, a louder talking, because at the end you, you try to reach them more, and as, as a goalkeeper, you have a very central position and uh, you can reach players different 
and this is what I'm trying to do sometimes, um, depending on the situation. But uh, I'm not the I'm not the guy who is always shouting uh, that somebody made a mistake. I'm, I mean, everybody of us um, is is failing sometimes, and um, yeah, just to sometimes to to reach a person um, on a different on a different way. This interview two months ago in Barcelona with Ter Stegen. He wished they could qualify to the semi final, unfortunately, but England's still here. <laughs> they did it. Uh, about this interview, he mentioned about the youth training. We know that both England and Germany they have very good youth training, they pay high attention to youth training. So, the appearance of so many good Thailand players. So, can you share about the good experience with the youth training in England? How did they develop such good young Thailand player like that? Well, youth training is obviously hugely important. You need to try to produce the future players and you need to be able to give them experience, as much experience as you can of, of playing in big competitions, of playing under pressure, understanding how to win, how to, if you're winning, how to keep a, a result and how to manage a game of football. There's so many different things that you need to teach younger players. In England, we have a, a good system. The problem is, is, it's very fashionable. So when Spain win the World Cup, eight years ago, whenever they win the World Cup, everybody looks at Spain and thinks, how did you, what's your youth setup? What's your manager? What's your player? And everybody tries to think, we'll copy that. Then Germany win, and then we think, oh, what are they doing? And then maybe England will win a combat. We, our youth teams at the moment are very successful. Yep, yep. We win the World Cup. U21, yep. U19 or something. Yeah, exactly. We're, we're very successful at the moment. It doesn't mean anything if they don't go on and be successful in the full international, but it's very good. We're, we're, we're doing something right at the moment. So very important. The coaches are very good. Our facilities are, are very good. Um, and then we have to get experience. We have to go to these competitions, play against other good teams, and see how we do. And at the moment, it's very, it's, it's very promising. Okay, um, now that Ter Stegen, he has an interaction with you. He will ask you a question about his career. Okay. If you pick the wrong answer, <laughs> you have to take a small punishment. It's a bit tricky. Oh no. Let's see. Tricky. Okay. Do you know which country I played the first time with the, with the German national team? A. Costa Rica B. Swiss C. Argentina or D. England? I think it's the Swiss. Oh my oh. god, you're right! Yeah. 今天我们说一下去新驾到这个方案<笑> 本栏目由国美分卖Note身为识别手机独家冠名播出。分卖Note，新生夺人，横扫千机。with our audience, please. All these yes, tough sir. questions, no, no. and yeah. next uh, episode will be some small games with our oh, audience. Right. Okay, lovely. Thank you. We have a very interesting game with our audience. We will pick up two of your supporters here okay. to play a game with you, like dribbling around the pool. Okay. So. Can still juggling and dribbling? <laughs> I can still try. <笑>好的现在呢就到了我们的互动时间啊今天我们也是有一个非常有意思的游戏要请两位观众上台来和欧文一起来做游戏我们这个游戏呢先给大家解释一下是这个带球绕杆这个游戏其实我觉得是足球
。哎，我们来看看啊，谁觉得自己有信心能做这个的？来，这位男生吧，你看带着这个英格兰的这个围巾。好的，再看看啊，哎，有一个女孩子想试试，来，欢迎。好的，来，站在站在这边。好，先咱们简单自我介绍一下吧，就是喜欢英格兰有多长时间？从大学前开始喜欢英格兰队，大概有四年的时间。嗯，这位男生呢？我从小就喜欢英格兰队，应该是六七岁的时候吧。六七岁？对对。你今年多大？我现在二十六岁。喜欢了二十二十年。我们刚刚从那时候就开始喜欢了。喜欢哪个具体俱,俱乐部啊？六十。真的假的？你不要因为他在这儿就说，你可以是，你可以说你喜欢爱佛多。好的，那非常幸运的两位球迷，看来也是我们我们的忠实球迷了。我们现在就要开始我们的这个游戏了。我们要求我们的这个球迷朋友呢，自己先独立带球，然后绕过这三根杆之后呢，再返回到原地把球传给欧文先生，然后欧文先生呢再次把球带过之后射门。好，咱们要不你们优先吧？你上来。Yes, very good. Wow, she didn't wear. Yes, wow. It's pretty good. Wow, slow, slow, slow. Okay, good. From here on. Hey, I think our girl did well. Let's give her a round of applause, okay? Wow. Wow. Pretty good. Very good. Wow. 哇<笑>、啊，好的，非常感谢我们两位小朋友完成都非常出色，所以呢，我们现在节目组也有两个小小的奖品要送给你们。来，咱们还是站在欧文先生的旁边。OK， congratulations， very good at football <笑>。好，咱们两位球迷觉得英格兰能夺冠吗？能。最后呢，我们也一起和我们两位球迷朋友和欧文先生一起照一张合影。OK，Thank、okay, you，Thank you，Thank you， 谢谢我们两位非常幸运的听众，非常感谢。好的，谢谢。好的，欢迎回到金星驾到，苏老师，今天既然有五位来自于根宝青训基地非常出色的小球员来到现场，一展身手。哎，我们也请他来上。其实，其实本来我想展展身手，我想这些孩子。要不您来试试吧？<笑>大家看到我手里拿了一个足球，接下来我们就会邀请这五位非常出色的新训小球员上来，来展示一下他们的球技啊。我们接下来要进行的这个游戏呢，叫做头球接力。嗯，大家如果经常看很多足球的，比如说这种小视频，就会知道这个头球接力呢，是一名球员和其他一排球员进行一个头球之间的互相传递完成的，需要非常高的这个团队配合和协调性。我们看看我们这五位小球员能不能做到。好的，有请我们五位来自于根宝青训基地的小球员，有请。那么我们也是邀请一名小球员来完成这个站在前点的这个工作吧，谁来愿意来承担这个？我觉得这个哇，这个责任很大呀、啊！来，现场观众朋友，掌声鼓励鼓励，加油！好球！哇，哇，很轻松啊！哇，我已经第三圈了，太棒了！第四圈，哇，哇，非常出色，谢谢谢谢，非常感谢我们五位小球员，我们完成任务，苏老师。这这让人看，呃，非常这个天真烂漫，对，哎、呃，又非常可爱。而技术又非常好，而且有一个非常好的团队配合，一定一定要继续努力，一定要继续努力，别停步，在未来也许真的在可能中国国家队里面呢。像徐指导一直期望的，能够出现更多的吴磊啊、张琳芃啊，能够超越呃范大哥啊，应该他们叫范叔叔了，对吧？<笑>嗯，应该叫范叔叔了。哎，希望早日能够在职业足球赛场上见到这些年轻的出色小球员。来、哎，我们给他们掌声鼓励他们，谢谢，谢谢你们，谢谢你们。最后呢，我们也有，当然请我们的呃 m i c h a Owen， 在我们的皮球上、足球上呃签名、留念。我们的巨星驾到，每一期的嘉宾呢，都会给我们留下一个纪念的比赛的球。呃，同时呢，我们的巨星驾到的本期节目的呃收尾的时间马上就要到了。在这个时候，我们非常感谢欧文先生在刚才给我们回答所有的问题，也给我们。呃，解答了许许多多我们对嗯足球的一些疑惑，对欧文的一些好奇，我们掌声
再次感谢欧文先生来到《地球家报》，同时我们要感谢观看我们节目的每一个人。我们下期《地球家报》节目再见，拜拜。拜拜